There's more than 12 present. When you look at the order of how he lays hands on them, there's a shift in the ordering of the tribes, and you find that Judah and yeah. Issachar are moved in juxtaposition because Issachar in the land is Judah's donkey. And Judah's donkey lies down between the sheepfolds that Judah cares for. Now Judah is the tribe from which Messiah comes. Right? It's interesting that when Jesus establishes a beachhead for his ministry, he doesn't do it in Nazareth. He does it in Capernaum, which sits on the border of Issachar and Zebulun because he is identifying with the territory of Issachar because he is the true son of Issachar that understands the times and knows what to do. So much so that in Matthew chapter 16, verses 1 to 4, the Pharisees come to test Jesus and they demand of him a sign. And Jesus said, red sky at night, sailors delight. Red sky in the morning, sailors take warning. Or, now that's more current. But let's go ancient, because this is what he was really saying. See, that's, this is more Middle Ages and past. But let's go back to ancient Israel. Red sky at night, shepherds delight. Red sky in the morning, shepherds take warning. In other words, a shepherd knew that if the sky was red at night, it was safe to take the sheep out and graze the next morning. But if the sky was red in the morning, it meant that if he took the sheep out, they were going to be exposed to extreme weather conditions that would be dangerous for their well-being. Mm. And he says to the supposed shepherds of Israel, the Pharisees, you can understand the signs of the weather, but you don't know the signs of the times. And as a result, the only sign you're going to get, because they were demanding a sign that he was Messiah. He said, here's the sign, Jonah. <laughs> can I come down there?